You know, one of the most important things we can do in trying to take back control of our own health is learning how to read labels uh, and learning how to separate, you know, the good stuff from the bad stuff, which is very, very confusing these days. And that's by design. Uh, I'm going to just walk you through one product. Uh, we just did a workshop yesterday, and one of the main focuses of our workshop is to, to, to help teach people how to read labels and, 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 and mislabeling and false advertising and just general bullshit. Uh, so let's call out one, one of these products right now. Um, it's, uh, it's an apple juice called Apple and Eve, which is just sounds so heavenly. It's like actually right out of the book of Genesis, Apple and Eve. Now this one is 100% juice which is good because I guess you would assume it was juice. What else would it be? You're buying apple juice, but this one's 100% juice. Uh, now this one is non-GMO, which is great. This is, this is good. We don't want any GMO processed um, products in any of our food. And what I really want to point out here is, is sugar. Uh, this thing is obviously marketed to kids. Kids love their orange juice. They love their apple juice. You look at this label and the beautiful pasture with the nice ripe apple, half bitten. It's just look, you know, blue skies. There's the farmer's trucks over here somewhere. Yeah, this is like, this looks really good and wholesome. This looks great for my child. Now let's look at the label. Uh, this has, okay, this says, first thing we want to look at is serving size, right? That's key. The serving size of this is eight ounces servings per container or eight. But right now let's focus on the serving size because all of the label information pertains to one serving. So the serving size for this is eight ounces. Now what does eight, an eight ounce cup look like? I'll show you. This is an eight ounce cup right here. Now that is not exactly a big gulp, folks. This is a very small cup. Uh, uh, you know, it's not even probably, it's not even the size of a sippy cup. Um, so in one eight ounce cup of this juice, there are 22 grams of sugar. Now, I love how the, they measure sugar in grams, similar to, to cocaine, I guess, but uh, I don't know what a gram is, and I, don't, I never really did know what a gram looked like. Um, but I'll tell you what a gram is. Uh, for every four grams of sugar, that equals one teaspoon. So what's one teaspoon look like? One, this is one teaspoon right here, okay? That's right there is one teaspoon of sugar. So for every eight ounces of juice, and I showed you that small cup, there's 22 grams of sugar. So that is the equivalent of five and a half teaspoons of sugar. Okay, so that's what you're drinking or your kid's drinking when they have an eight ounce cup of this. Again, that's not a big amount of juice by today's standards at least. So that's an awful lot of sugar. All right, well, what else is in here? Um, not a heck of a lot. It's telling us that there's some vitamin C or, or a, a lot of vitamin C. Now, time out. This, ju this juice is made from concentrate. So what does that mean? That means they took the apples, they stripped out the water, probably via a process that requires a lot of pressure and heat. When you have a lot of pressure and heat added to something natural like an apple, a lot of the nutrients are destroyed, the enzymes are destroyed. Why do they do that? I'll tell you why. Because the expiration date on this is September of 2019, and I bought this for a workshop purposes months ago. So I've, this is like actually, it has a year before it expires. That's the power of from concentrate. You know, your apple is not gonna last a year, but this juice will. So they, they, they strip out all the water, add back water later, and now you have a product that can have a long shelf life, doesn't need to be refrigerated and whatnot. And there you go. So what are you getting in this? You're getting a shitload of sugar. No wonder kids love it. Uh, you're not really getting much else. Now, that you can argue that the vitamin C in here isn't even all that absorbable, given that it's kind of been stripped out and added back in uh, in a concentrated form. So I would argue that what you're really getting here is mostly sugar. Um, it says it's got some ascorbic acid and malic acid. Those are things that are naturally found in fruit. Malic acid is naturally found in apples. So that's not anything particularly, um, you know, bad. But, uh, but look, you know, this is, it says, oh, no sugar added. Okay, you don't need to add any sugar when there's five and a half teaspoons per eight ounce glass. Uh, and I guess what sets this amazing product uh, 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 above the rest is that there's no artificial flavors or colors. Well, thank you very much. Um, you know, my take, and, and, and look at this. Now here, let's look at the label on the apple. This is just an apple. It's a little beat up and bruised. That's because it fell from a tree. Um, the label on this just says organic, okay? It doesn't say 
It has anything added. It doesn't have, it's just an apple. And this is what we were intended to eat. This comes packed with vitamins, minerals, fiber. Uh, it's, our body is made to eat it. It's almost pre-digested. It requires almost no um, digestive uh, energy by our, for our body. It's, it's basically, it's gonna come right through, give us good water, give us good nutrients, and there you go. Cut up an apple, man, leave the juice behind. Peace.